Now, Ava, I love the song. We're going to talk about, like, the music, the beats, but... Who's the problem, darling? What's the gossip? What's that? Uh, isn't everyone the problem? I mean, yeah, you're talking to the conveyor. <laughs> Let me sorry. Yeah. So, what, so, come on, where did this come from? Because you said, you know, this is the prop, one of the first times that you've actually opened up personally when you've come down to a song. Oh, we're going there, huh? We're going there, babe. We're this is what there. we do. This is your Oprah moment. Yeah, so I, you know, when I was in the studio writing this album, I didn't think it was going to go this deep until my life started crumbling down and everything started oh, crashing right in front of me. But, you know, that's life, so it's okay. And heartbreak makes for the best music, I it guess. It does. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, but, yeah, I had, I had, you know, some encounters where I felt not heard and that I was being blamed for everything. Mm. And it felt like it just, like... You know, I hate saying this, but it just wasn't fair. And I, I didn't feel comfortable in that relationship. So I think that's where maybe the problem kind of came from, that inspiration. Mm -hmm. And um, again, in multiple encounters as well, you know, you can feel like this with a family member, right? With friends, with a boyfriend. And I think uh, for me personally, I just went through it so deeply last year that I it was all I could write about. And when I was in the studio, it just came out of me. <laughs> You know, I mean, yeah. so many artists do that, don't they? A yeah. lot of artists take that person. Adele being one of them. I mean, just uh, the Kerr album. Misery albums. makes the albums amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's the side of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's a it's a tough one, but I didn't know that until it happened no. to me. So um, now I know. Well, <laughs> on a lighter note, we have got your lovely parents. There they are. Oh, look at them! Hello, Hello, guys. Welcome to the One Show. Um, now, they played a huge part and they made m many, many sacrifices, didn't they? They did. In order for you to reach where you are today. Yeah, they did. They, um, they've they done so much for me up until now. Um, I mean, there's just not enough time to even tell you. They're, they've sold their house when I was younger to just move cross country because wow. my mom believed in me so much and they just believed in me so much that they really were like, okay, we've done so many singing competitions, what else is next? They always would be like, what's next? They would always be my biggest supporters and I think they are the foundation of who I am and without them, I mean, I wouldn't be here. So thank you. Oh. Well, sure, we love, look, mom and dad over there. <laughs> And, I mean, you say without them, you, you wouldn't be here. We know they've made many sacrifices, yeah. but let's talk about talent because you're not oh. the only talented singer in oh, the family, no. Andrea. Okay, I'm going to embarrass Andrea. I'm going to embarrass her because I know she doesn't like talking about it, but she has a beautiful operatic voice and she used to oh. sing back in Albania. And um, she never did it professionally, but um, she gave up her dreams for her family, obviously. But, um, you know, she's kind of living vicariously. No. Well, you must be so proud of her, so proud of her. <laughs> yeah, I'm living now my dream through her. Oh, I oh, love that's that. That's the best. We love that. We're so I'm proud of her. All of the best. You need to take them I'm everywhere. I'm of them. I know, I love them. They don't come to enough stuff. You should come everywhere, guys. Well, we are. <laughs> we are They're now always they Well, Ava, time for you to warm up the old vocal course, she says. Yep. And because you are going to take us into the weekend with your <laughs> yeah. new single, looking forward to hearing that.